Hello friends, I'm Frida Instructor Atul Dahale and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share with you a technique or you can say the chess trick which will definitely help you to improve your game and if you manage to apply this technique in your games then I can guarantee that your rating is going to go skyrocket. Well, you must have observed from your games that usually the result of the game is decided because of missing out of some kind of tactic. Well, it happens with the beginners, intermediate players and even the advanced level players. Well, for the advanced level players, it happens because of the lack of concentration or the fatigue, you can say. But for the other players, usually it happens because you don't understand where is the tactic on the board or you can not really understand there was a tactic in the game. It happens with you, isn't it? So I'm going to help you something for this uh, particular problem in this video. So stay tuned with me till the end and understand this technique thoroughly. Well, the technique which I'm going to tell you is called as the CCT technique or you can say the CCT trick. Okay. What does it mean by CCT? Well, C stands for check. Another C stands for capture and the T stands for the threat. We all know this thing that all these three things are kind of uh, forced variations or the forced things in the game check whenever there is a check we have to take care of the check whenever there is a capture we have to take care of the capture we cannot really need ignore that thing and the threat well for the players who don't understand the threat threat means what are you going to play or what your opponent is going to play on the next move it is as simple as that correct so guys when we miss out on our opponent's threat we miss out on the tactic and ultimately we will lose a piece or a pawn in the game and then the game is over very soon so i'll be sharing with you uh, some of the examples we will be solving some examples and while solving the examples or you can say the chess tactics i will uh, explain how you can apply this ccd technique in each and every puzzle or the tactic and you can solve that tactic very easily okay so pay attention to it with me First, we will be solving some puzzles on chess.com survival mode, puzzle rush survival, and then we will shift to Lee Chess also because you might think like, okay, on chess.com the puzzles are very easy and on Lee Chess it's different. So let's start it. So this is the first puzzle over there on the board. You can see that black has just played this move and what I have told you, we should start with the checks, captures and the threats. So the first thing we will see in any position is the check. So here is the first check and after this check we can see that black is just getting checkmated okay because after this check rook will come between and we can just capture the rook and it's a mid. So the first tactic is solved. Now the second one well here you can see again if we capture this rook it will be a check check capture okay and there will be a check and mate because of the back rank checkmate okay fair enough. Now again we are going to see check capture and thread start with the check so the check is here obviously the capturing the rook and the, this rook will capture again we will capture the rook and there will be a check and mate because king cannot really move anywhere okay so check and again a check and it's a mate now here again we will start with the check capture threat so here is the check the rook must come in between and we give another check because the knight is supporting the square and it's going to be a check and mate check here and check mate <laughs> it's going great right now again what to do sometimes there is not a check because in this position only the kings are there there will not be a check but we can give something else in the position we can capture well here we can capture the pawn and followed by we can just push the pawn and win, we can win the game because the pawn will be queening i hope that you understand how to queen how to checkmate your opponent with the help of the queen okay and if you don't know then i have already uh, made one video how to checkmate with the uh, queen and the king you can check out that video i'm going to give you the link of that video in the above i section okay so we'll capture this pawn he'll capture and we will just start pushing the pawn and our pawn is going to go forward very quickly again now this is the position we can see this queen is there this king is there the knight is in between so we just need to move the knight and there will be the discovered check and we should win the game so now the point is like where to move the knight so the threat should be there like as I said earlier we need to think about the future so here the threat can be given like we can play the knight here attack the queen and we will be controlling this square also the queen cannot really move anywhere and even if it comes to e2 square we will capture the queen and this is the check so we will just win the game and we capture the queen okay 
So now this screen is here. See guys, one more thing we should always remember while solving the tactics or in your games also, pay attention to the undefended pieces or the unsupported pieces on the board. So here the queen is unsupported, it's not having any support. And our queen is there on the same file, so the bishop is there in between. So the x-ray attack is there. So we should just capture the pawn on h2. This is the check as well as the capture. And after that we will be winning the queen on the next move. Fair enough. Now we will solve some more tactics here. Okay, now there is a check in this position, you should always spot. So there are two checks, which check is good? We should also always try to identify that thing and compare. This bishop is controlling this diagonal, this queen is controlling this square, so the king cannot come here. So the king might go away. If you capture here, the queen will capture. So we'll give knight to f3 check and it's a check and mate. Fair enough. Now we'll go to the next one here. Again, start with the check capture or the threat so the check is here in this position and if the king comes here obviously queen will just come to this square and it's a check and mate and if king goes to this h1 square then we give knight to f2 check followed by the queen will be captured very soon so we give this check bishop okay he came with the bishop but we can just capture the bishop here and that should be winning for us now again in this position this bishop is controlling this diagonal okay so we want to give the check to the king so the first thing, if you give this check, the bishop will just capture here, okay? So we don't want that thing because we know this thing that if you manage to give the check to this king on the back rank, it will be a check and mate. So we will start with this check, bishop will capture the rook and then we will give rook to e1 check and it's a mate. So rook c1 check, bishop will capture here and rook e1 check and mate. Fair enough. Now I'll solve some more puzzles quickly. I hope that you will understand these puzzles. Now here the queen is going to just going to capture here. So that's kind of easy. And now what to do? Well, there are uh, different checks. So this is a check and mate. So now I'll solve that a little bit faster now again. So this check is there. King will come here and we can give this check and it's a mate. Okay, check and it's a mate. Again, the discovered check is going to go there and there will be a double check. So what to do in this position? We have two types of checks here. We can give this check, the uh, king can go to this square or this square or we have some other check also. We can give this check and capture the rook over here. So I'll go for this check, double check and we capture the rook and we win the game. Two more puzzles we'll be solving here. Okay, we can play this move and there will be a check and mate threaten in this position. That should be the best move in the position, I guess so, because there is no other better alternative. Okay, so I'll go for this one and okay, he has given up the bishop. So because of the threat was there, this checkmate, so we win the game. So last puzzle here guys and after that, uh, I hope that everything is clear to you. We will capture, capture and this capture king will come here. And now after that, uh, we can... Uh, Okay, this is also, the we can just capture the knight also in this position and if we capture here, we'll capture here. That should be good enough for us to win the game, I guess. That is the best. So, so guys, uh, from all these puzzles, you must have understood that check capture threat really works in your games. Okay, now I'll solve some puzzles on uh, leeches and we will see what are the things. So, okay, there is the puzzle. We can go here and go to capture this pawn and that should be winning for us. Okay, and we will push. The thread was there again now start with the check capture thread so this is the check in this position the king is being uh, captured very soon this bishop is uh, okay can come here but it is going to be a check and mate check and it's a mate again now start with the check and check capture thread so find out the checks in the position this queen is there undefended piece the queen is here we are uh, attacking this queen something the bishop is there between the queens we just need to find the check this is the check and we will win the queen in this position so check and we win the queen so the next puzzle we are going to see again we need to solve it by check capture thread again and again i'm repeating this thing because in your games constantly we need to remind this thing to ourselves okay so this check is there the king is stuck here bishop is controlling this diagonal so that should be bishop rook will come here and queen will capture the rook and it's a check and mate okay now again so here uh, the king is stuck over here in, on the back rank so we can give this check the rook will come between we can just capture the rook and it's a check and mate okay check and check mate now again here we need to find out the check and capture I guess you can always pause the video guys and think about the this technique 
on each and every puzzle which we will be solving check here king will come here and we again give this check it's a check and mate because this bishop is controlling this diagonal here and here so next four example more and then we will uh, end this uh, discussion here so now again here the simple thing is that we can just capture over here this pawn because this pawn is controlling here and it's a mate guys very easy again we start with the check capture thread so this is the check in the position bishop is controlling this diagonal and it's a check and mate so again now where is the check in this position the check is here and it will be a fork we will be winning the queen so this check and here check capture thread okay we capture here again now check capture thread in the position should be found out the check is coming over here and this will be a check and mate very soon guys check and this is a check and mate okay here we need to be a little bit careful now the screen is there and there is doesn't seem like very obvious check but if it's find out this check is there the king is stuck the pawn needs to capture here and another check will be coming on this uh, file and it will be a check and mate guys so check here and this is a check and mate okay one more puzzle here okay if you find out the check and mate in this position i miss check capture threat i'll be very glad so if you give this check the knight is there which will capture the knight so first what to do first we need to capture the knight over here attacking on both the things a check queen will capture and then knight of knight to c6 check and then we will capture the queen on e5 so bishop into e5 knight to c6 and that's how we win the game okay so guys i hope that these many puzzles were good enough to understand this concept of check capture thread apply this trick in your game and definitely you will uh, be able to save many games and sometimes you will win a lot of uh, games also because you know like the way you were missing out on the tactics until now in your games and you were losing the games that will definitely reduce and you will start winning the games very soon because of spotting the tactics in the position so guys if you like this video the the content then don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends also maybe they will also improve their game and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much we'll be meeting very soon with some interesting concept till that moment bye bye see you take care and love you all